Hey everybody, welcome welcome to a LEGO room tour, doing something a bit different today. Uh, I don't know if anybody will ever ask for it, but this is more of a backup video, so if someone does, I'll just upload it. So without further ado, let's get into what's going on here. I'm going to start off with this building corner, and then I'm going to work my way down. Then we're going to go across and see all, all we have to see. So let's get into the first corner right here. Okay, so for starters, we got over here just like these one dollar cups or whatever just simply because when I was sorting the parts of the great Lego sort when I sorted my entire collection I just put them all in like these these cups to make it easier and now now I got all these cups left over I don't know what I'm gonna do with them these are the most useful because they're clear but I mean I'll probably keep those around but those are just there because why why would I throw them out but why would I keep them you know that sort of deal and starting from this section over here I'll try to make it a bit brighter maybe that'll work we got a uh, pharmacy over there, just because, um, I don't know, I wanted to put him over there. And then we got Jacob Kowalski from the whatever Harry Potter thingy that Lego Legend sent me over there. We got some unfinished projects down there. Some I was going to make a Lancer droid for Star Wars, but it didn't quite pan out because uh, I didn't, couldn't build the speeder. We got Zane Shuri Copter. That's here because... I just didn't have another space for it, and I thought it looked cool. Uh, we got, this is a bit of a cool thing right here, uh, Lego ceramic, or not Lego ceramic, just a ceramic piece I made. It's a uh, Overwatch, and half side is uh, Fair's emblem, and the other side is uh, the ultimate line in Arabic. I don't know if you can see that. It's right there. I learned to write Arabic for this, and then it's a box, but I didn't quite finish painting the bottom side. So it kind of just stays like that. And then we got some miscellaneous stuff over there. Um, this is all my stuff I use to customize. We got paint brushes that I should clean. All the paint and all the tools and everything all over there. USB drive. Uh, coming down, we got minifigure parts and these ones. And then smaller parts that don't need to fit in the separate bags or bins. And uh, come on, focus here. Yeah? in these two and then we got just my tripod because I'm going to shoot some stuff over there in a minute we got a project that's coming up which you'll probably see on the channel if not it didn't turn out so well so I don't know if I'm going to upload it we also got my new laptop right here it, it's actually you know it's really nice I really like it you can't see right now but it looks really nice it's like full HD fully decked out here it's going to be really uh, nice for college so now we have the laptop and all of this stuff taken taken care of let's take a look at the the belly of the beast if you will which is what's going on under here so starting off right here we've got McCree's gun from overwatch so that's just there and we got a three drawer system right here eBay stuff Technic that's overflowing and I have to do something with and we got some black parts that's it. This entire thing is black tiles because of the Tron, the whole Tron debacle where I tried to make the Tron set and I spent like $50 on plates and then never finished it. Um, down here, it's going to be a bit harder to see. So quality is going to dim a little bit, but we got magic cards over here. I just got all these for free and I play magic online so I don't use them, but I still keep them around. We got two Harry Potter sets that I got for free. Uh, I haven't built them yet because I personally don't care that much about Harry Potter, but I will build them uh, eventually when, when the time comes or do a giveaway. I don't know. Whatever. Not a giveaway a contest. And we got my uh, non-Lego bag, and this is used for just... I find a piece. Oh, it's non-Lego. I throw it in this bag. That's why that's there. And then we got just bags for different Lego stuff. And then popping over over here, we just got mailers for... Uh, eBay and that concludes this section of the room tour all right so since we just finished with that section we're going to move on right here to this mess of a shelving unit I have some sort of structure so we'll start at the top work our way down over here we got mostly let's focus this thing here we got mostly overwatch all overwatch 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 in the back we got some miscellaneous Ninjago stuff I should probably put downstairs in my Ninjago bins we got Tron uh, different Pharaoh's Quest beetle that I built for my collection. We got uh, Iron Man, 
Iron Man poly bag right there. Over here we got Exo Force going on, just the stuff that I built for my collection and got for like $15. I was like, that's a steal because it was uh, sealed at the time, and now I don't know what to do with it because I didn't need it. We got BB-8. We got a the uh, gunship from my childhood, which is in desperate need of some uh, repairs, and then over all the way down here, it's gonna be really hard to see, but I got just tons of Mandalorians because I have a, sort of a collection of them. Mandalorians and some speeders, the Sith speeder. And then we got some Mandalorian parts because I used some of the uh, torsos for minifigures. And we're gonna swivel around right back here to the eight shelves. We got just some Star Wars, a Cadus Prime because it fits really nice in there. And that's the only reason it's there. We got Dino Attack, which a lot of you probably aren't familiar with it. It was a brief run um, theme in the U.S., and it's because it's it was only brief because uh, it's a little bit more dark, if you can tell, than other Lego themes because it was just murdering mutant uh, dinosaurs, and it was awesome. So I got the Humvee right there. I got half the tank. I got to build the other half, and then we got the cre the creme de la crop here, whatever you call it, the dinosaur. Let's see if I can focus this in, and uh, his eyes light up. And that is, those things go for like $30 on themselves. It's pretty insane. So we got some prequel era separatist junk down there. I mean, it's not, it's not junk, but it kind of is. And then we got um, <laughs> more separatist stuff. Uh, some Empire stuff down there. And some miscellaneous First Order and then pirate uh, ship right there from the Clone Wars. Now getting into sorting. So this... These top three are unorthodox. This is black. I gotta sort that still. That's overflowing. This is gray. Gotta sort that still. It's overflowing. Uh, light gray. Gotta sort that kind of. Oh no, I already sorted this one. So basically, what I do is I have it by color, like big pieces in there, and then I just have like you know, curve plates and uh, like regular plates, bricks. And then that's just kind of how it gets sorted tiles of that color. And that's the same for that one. Haven't sorted blue yet, except for a little bit. I haven't gone through the main part yet. And then red, which uh, has a surprisingly a large amount of bricks. All right, and then uh, over here we got minifigures. All the heads that I have. And then all the figures that I want to keep and not sell. Like uh, clone troopers and all that stuff. All that's in there. This drawer is nature. This is all just strictly nature and boats. Just all different types. You got, you know, like seaweed parts. And, uh, you know, all, all this different stuff. Just all sorted like that. And then over here, we just got miscellaneous uh, rare bricks. Like, I didn't sort them by color for this one. Just like rare colored uh, bricks right there. And rare colored plates. These window pieces. Just like different stuff that wouldn't war in their own uh, bucket. We got sorted yellow, and then all, all these are sorted down here by color. You got tan, brown, green, and then we got translucent bricks, which I kept separate for a while. I don't know if I'll sort them into the collection or not. And then we got an empty drawer that I'm gonna use for some, some junk later. And that's that section right there. All right, next we're moving on to probably the most interesting part, this piece right here. We're going to start at the top and work our way down. So first of all, up here, I'm going to focus this in. We got all the custom stuff I've ever done bar for a few projects and some that haven't been on the channel yet by the time of this uploading, maybe. We got like all the minifigures over here. We got, if you look really closely, just everything on the channel that I've ever done really is up here at some point. Even this, which is one of my first videos I ever made. Uh, way back, don't watch it, it's really bad. Uh, that's up there. I mean, the only stuff that isn't here is probably the old Overwatch stuff, because it's bad, and the old Slug Terror stuff, because I don't care. And those are in the closet, which we'll probably not see, but who knows. And we got the Tron Light Chopper, that's one I really want to bring to the channel. Probably going to film this after filming, uh, film that one after filming this. We got one of the light jets moving down. We got elven ship. I don't really know what to do with it because I think it's too ugly to put on the channel. 
but it's all I don't want to destroy it. So who knows? I want to get like a darker, darker brown, and then like do darker brown throughout. I think that'd be really neat. And then we got a turret from the early days of the channel. We have uh, deep dab. <laughs> Still a stupid name. We got uh, armored transport thing that looks like okay, not bad enough to destroy it, but not good enough to put on the channel, so it's right there. And we have the Phantom 2, which is still one of my best builds. I just wish I wasn't so bad at video making when I made that video, because that could have been a that could have been a good one. Uh, down here, there's not much to see. It's just loads of light jets from the Broken Tron. Uh, experimental Blitzkrieg bots that fall apart, so I didn't put them on the channel. Uh, experimental ship that's awful, and then just a random minifigure piece, and that's just really what's uh, over there. There's nothing special on that drawer. Oh yeah, I didn't mention the the hands. Yeah, it's a big video coming up if you guys can uh, figure out what that is. I'm not going to spoil it, but it's that's a long time coming though. That's a side project. Uh, coming down here, we got... The TV, obviously. I barely use the TV, just because me and my friends always... We used to play Xbox, which is right there. But now it's Discord on the laptop while we play Magix and like other PC games, so... A high priority anymore. We got the Star Wars ship, which I still want to put on the channel at some point. I don't know why this engine slipped the wrong way, but whatever. And then we got Creo Shockwave, which you can see over there. Our Lord and Savior is on the wall. And that's just because... I have no idea what to do with this thing. It's awful. I hate. I hate it. It's just. It's just garbage. But I don't know what to do with it. I spent twelve dollars on this. I don't want to. Th so that's why it's there. We got the destroyer droid because it needs its uh, elastics replaced, and also I don't know where to where to where to even put it. And we got different drawer system right here. Little tiny drawers. We got like brick separators. Um, I know they're really rare. We got custom parts that never made it to the light of day, and some stuff that's still gonna be made. But oh, that's only one thing in there, I think. We got the pens. Uh, and and I, I cut the, uh, that drawer out because it had, like, oh, all my personal information in it. I forgot about that. And then we just got, like, I don't know, different stuff. These, because I look cool. I think they look cool. I got to sort I gotta sort that drawer out. forgot about that one. But that is that section right there. You can take, let's go to the bottom. I forgot about the bottom here. We got, like, Xbox controller and, like, TV remote. That's about it. Old laptop. Don't worry. I'm getting. I'm getting new stickers. I'm getting new cringy stickers for my new laptop. Don't worry. He's. That's not getting left out of the. Uh, out of the party. But this is the laptop graveyard. We got this one, which I had before the new one, and then we have this one, which I had before that one, the dinosaur, and then we have this one, which I had before that. So, we we have a laptop graveyard going down. I had one other too that's downstairs. I don't even have that dead laptop up here. We got the 3D printer. Um, it's hooked up right now, but I'm not going to turn it on because the bed goes and it'll just mess up everything in there and probably break something because there's a mountain of stuff on it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start using that again this week for a project, but not Lego. Um, we got you know Toys R Us truck. I don't know why that's even there. I think it's just because I forgot to hang it up. And this thing, this poster I got at Comic Con. Usually hangs uh, right there, but there's so much of a glare from the light that I just threw it down there. And then shimmying on over to this section over here. This is one of the better sections. We got a lot of Star Wars. A lot of Star Wars that I have no place to put. We got two Clone Wars Y-Wings, two Geonosian Starfighters, Obi-Wan Starfighter that I got for like $5. We got the two separate shuttles. Three ATTEs. I'm, I was gonna start like an ATTE collection. I start. I think I already have an ATTE collection, but I'm gonna start c accumulating more because uh, I think that'd be that'd be kind of fun. Just have a collection of ATTEs. We got three ATRTs, um, Mega Blocks because I like Halo Reach. That's why that's over there. We got an ATTE piece. I have no idea where that goes. Um, we got a pencil sharpener tank that I got from Canada. I just have that up there because I thought it was neat to have. Borderlands uh, cup holder that I made a few years ago in ceramics. We got Borderlands mug, which I uh, made a few years ago. That one doesn't look bad. It does not look bad at all. And then we got also um, the portal mug, which the lettering was not that good, but I just loved the idea of the mug with the uh, the handle being the portal. So that's what I that's why I did that. 
And uh, these drawers are nothing. It's just like personal stuff, like oh man, junk in these two, and then like you know just clothes. So that's that's those that's some random drawing garbage for my dad. I don't even know why I keep it in here, but like that's that's where that is. Um, and then we're gonna take a look at the bed here while I clean this mess up. So this is the gonna be the bed section. If it looks like an eight year old uh, Overwatch fanboy's bed, because it basically is right here. Um, we got the Overwatch blanket, which I put because it blends in with the uh, comforter, and I got it for Christmas. So I was like, why not? We got <laughs> a uh, stuffed fish that I've had since I was ten. That thing and my have been through uh, had some adventures, and then we got just a pillow. It's, this is like the boring stuff. Let's get out of here. Overwatch poster. Um, Lego Universe. We got Lego Universe over there. Never forget. Um, I got the copy that I had and my dad had and we would play together on the PC. So that's on that shelf right there because Lego Universe is something I still cherish. I had a, a massive video plan on Lego Universe, like a documentary. I don't know if I'll still make that, but it, it the script's done, the editing, like where everything needs to go is done. Maybe I'll make that one day. Um, we got an old Lego set from the 60s. Just like a uh, a plane. I model it on this side because this side has a tear. Tear right there. That's what happens with that. Lego mug that I stole from my father. And uh, old Coke bottle from the 40s because I thought it was pretty uh, interesting. And then we got a little Spartan guy right down there if we can zoom in. And that about does it for that. And the last thing is this wall, which doesn't have a whole lot. It's just um, the, the uh, what's it called, whiteboard, which I used to put some uh, ideas down. It doesn't have a lot of it, a lot of stuff on it right now. And that needs to go up on the wall. I can't show it right now because the light's in the way. And it'll be like the second coming of Christ with all the light in the way. So I can't, <laughs> I already tried. I can't show it. Um, and we have over here a portal poster that I need to put up but again I need those like strips that go on the wall because all mine broke and then we have like the boards that I use for filming and that about does it I'd say for this room tour I think I covered everything pretty dang well I mean you can come over here if you want we can just go right over here like the back door and I'll put some light in this so it doesn't look so black we got like the back door what do you want like backpacks okay coat I don't know, sure, why not? And we got the closet mess. But that's just like boxes, eBay stuff, different Lego things. I don't know. This is a Lego room. This is what I have. Um, downstairs, I should really show this one day. I have an entire Lego city, one of the biggest I've ever seen, right? Because we used to, cl we collected Lego City for like seven years, and we also collected like all the old stuff. It's just a massive, sprawling city. But it's been derelict for like six years. It just looks like an apocalypse down there. Like all the planes that used to be on the side are thrust into the construction yard. And I don't know. Maybe I'll show that one day. And then we have, I have totes upon totes of Lego Star Wars sets. I have every set from, I think, 1999 to 2012-ish, give or take a few UCS sets. I have every single set from the main line for those, which uh, those are down there. I don't know. This is just my stuff. I mean, my stuff that I've accumulated over the years, whereas that stuff is stuff that me and my dad both accumulated together. So this is just what I keep up here. Um, and that about does it for this uh, this room tour here. I hope you guys enjoyed this constant rambling. I don't know if anybody uh, stayed until the end. Or I don't even know if this is interesting, but I figured I, it would be fun to do. So, And I hope it didn't come out too poorly. So I'm going to go film some more videos. I'm going to go figure out what to film next and uh, work on the next project.